Welcome back to the catch up here on Chris Cyborg's YouTube channel. I am James Lynch. She is Chris Cyborg. Chris, we're back. How are you this afternoon? I'm great. You know, happy to start the week. The week looks nice. <laughs> Yes, what a way to start the week, talking, uh, us doing our, our catch-up as we do every single week. Uh, before we get into all the topics for today, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. We do the show every week, so you don't want to miss any updates. Okay, we got a lot to get into because we were off last week. First and foremost, PFL CEO Peter Murray on the MMA Hour mentions that he says that you're a free agent and that there's interest in you fighting Kayla Harrison. We've heard this before, Chris, but I want to hear it from you. Has there been any talks with PFL at all? You know, we never have any talks with the PFL, and then we never talk about this fight. Mm. Um, I know it's a lot of talks in the internet, but yeah. really for to make this fight happen, we really have to uh, do different ways, but we never have the opportunity to talk about anything. There's also some talk about a potential co-promotion between Bellator and PFL. Is that something that you've spoken to Co Scott Coker about, or is that something that hasn't been discussed either? You know, I, I've been talking about Scott Cook, but about boxing and fights, you know, we talked this, maybe the big co-promoter is going to be really nice, you know, I really love to work with Scott Coker, and if you have the opportunity to make this fight happen, and, you know, continue to be with Scott, it's going to be amazing, you know, co-promoter the event, and I think it's for the make the fight happen. But you see, uh, you see, Ali already been saying, like, Kayla didn't sell per preview or within our interesting. You know, then I want to put really down, but I believe, I believe like uh, the promoter, promote push for the fight to happen, but the own manager, the her, no, you know, I, I think a lot of things have to change. I think if they really want to the fight to happen, maybe, you know, can call Scott to make the co-promoter fight to happen. I even never went to PFL, so mm -hmm. I never talked to Peter, I never did have the opportunity anything, so, but, you know, I'm open, you know, I'm open to the best fights for my fans. And was he correct? Are you a free agent right now? Or are you still with Bellator? Because it seems like you still are with them. My my contract finish. Okay. Yeah, my contract finish, but we are in a period. Then you know. Then then they offering. You know. Right. And yeah, but the contract. Yeah, we. I did the contract. Yes. Do you know how long that period is uh, with you in Bellator right now? Like, I imagine it's a bit of time for you guys to talk and see if you can reach a deal. Uh, I don't know exactly the timing, but I know we are close to time. Yes. Okay. There we go. That makes sense. Uh, we, I mentioned we had a lot to get into. You had your women's uh, pink belt retreat. How did all that go? That was a few weeks ago. No, it was amazing. The opportunity to know, see my fans close and the training together. They were very fun. They're a lot of fun. You know, I have like over 30 girls and have people from Canada, from Washington, from, you know, a lot of Seattle, have a lot of people, girls from some different place. And they're nice, you know, training and the self-defense, share a little bit of experience. And it's, it's changed your life for sure. You know, they will get out very, very happy. And I know you've been doing some other stuff as well. We'll talk about that in a sec. But we have to talk about Amanda Nunes and Juliana Pena, the rematch. We haven't spoken since that fight happened. What did you think of Amanda uh, in her dominant performance over Pena uh, winning the rematch? You know, Juliana Pena was no ready for Amanda Nunes' south fall. You know, I think it's, this is make a lot of difference in the fight. Um, Amanda Nunes uh, did this smart. You know, she did a nice game plan. Congratulations for the win. But you know, I, I think it, it's a lot of the, in Southpaw is a lot of opportunity to give you the right hand, left hook. You know, when you give the left hook, you can kick in the body, left hook can go to single leg. I think it, little things she will should do in the fight, but she's no ready. And I think that the corner didn't tell her like a couple of things to do, but it was open for her for do the you know single leg. It was easy for her doing Southpaw. Yeah. Now, we had spoken before the fight. Did you expect Amanda to be that dominant in the rematch? Because some people were wondering, you know, is, is Nunez on the decline or was it she had a bad night? I think we can all say now that Nunez had an off night in their first fight and the second fight kind of proved that Amanda was the better fighter. You know, the, the reality, I said, like, I was thinking uh, Juliana was going to win the first fight. I said that, you know, <laughs> because, you know, Juliana, Juliana, she had the, the, the game making you tired. Mm -hmm. And you can see the last fight Amanda Nunes, everybody say, okay, Juliana choke her. Okay, Juliana choke her, but Amanda Nunes was tired. You know, if you can see, don't have any hooks there, but I believe she's a star. She'll give up herself. I believe she lose for herself that fight. And I mm -hmm. think a lot of things change. You know, I, I don't know what's everything around her, but change it, and then she's coming ready. You know, and it, it, she's saying this, man, I want to do the five rounds for her. Look. So she's coming ready for the fight. Um, and just Juliana was no way for Southpaw, you know, it was a different strategy. 
Now, as far as what's next for Nunez, I think a lot of people would love to see a rematch between the two of you. I know that probably won't happen, but uh, do you think now is the time to do that Valentina Shoshenko trilogy? What do you think should be next for Nunez? Because uh, it doesn't seem like there's a clear-cut contender at 135 right now. I knew. I think maybe they can continue in the in the weight class. You know, can move it on. You know, I think mm-hmm. uh, Kathleen Vieira. You know, she's coming. That's true. Yeah, good point. Everybody, she's Brazilian, and I think she have a little bit similar style to Juliana. You know, mm-hmm. she's a black belt judo. I think it was gonna be it was gonna be a great fight between them, and for sure she's gonna be ready for Fiamanda Nunes coming south Paul. I think this is the great fight. Of course, uh, Valentina was a great fight too. You know, uh, I think Valentina Little is smaller for for fire one thirty five, but I think it's continue to be great fight. She's fast, you know, she's very technical. It's gonna be great fight, but I believe the next one, Catalier. And switching gears, I saw you were at a celebrity bowling tournament last week. How was that? Again, you're everywhere every week. It seems like you're uh, doing all types of stuff, which is awesome. You know, I have to keep it work, you keep a hustle. You know, yeah. I it was amazing time. You know, for 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 to help the community. You know, have a lot of lot of. Um, people from TV shows, you know, some NBA players, you know, have a nice opportunity with good people. They raise you over $100,000 that night. You know, uh, Tandera Rosa there too, my friend. And San Antonio is beautiful city. You know, obviously people don't know, but it's very hot, but it's very beautiful and the people are very nice. And the Army Salvation, you know, collector and they raise money for people to help the community. I feel very blessed to be there. And I hope next year I'll be there again. And we got to ask, uh, last time we spoke, there was talks about you having a boxing fight. Is there any update on that? I got to get I got to get the latest, Chris. What's going on? You know, my team already received the contract. You know, we've been back and forth working the contract. I believe soon, you know, I finish, I sign. And then you guys going to know who, where going to be my next fight. I'm very excited to do my first, you know, my first fight in boxing. And very, very excited. You know, it's one of my dreams. And and then now just gonna close it perfect. When you guys know where, and you guys gonna know how I'm talk about. And I hope to talk to you Tuesday, and it can tell you, James. Yes, no, I look forward to it. So so to confirm, like it seems like the date is sort of hammered in. Like you know, sort of the date. We're just working on the terms and the opponent, right? Is that is that kind of what you're trying to figure out? Yeah, we have the opponent. We have a, we just conclude the contract right. and beating everything. But we have the date to have a where we have everything. Yes. Yeah. And just to clarify, the reason I'm not grilling Chris here about the opponent is because sometimes fights fall through. We just had Jake Paul's fight uh, not happen uh, not that long ago, right? So things will happen. That's why you got to, you, you can only talk about things when the contract's officially signed, right? To make sure everything's ready to go. Yes, yes. And then, yeah. yes, and then if something happens, you know, fight, but for sure, you know, for sure it'll be signed and then we're going to announce. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Chris, it's not often I get jealous, but I got really jealous last week. And let me tell you why. You have an ice barrel. I love doing the cold plunge. I do it every day. I, I do it in my shower because, uh, and for people who don't know, it's basically where you jump in, you, you're in cold water. It's it's to help with recovery and so many other things. But I saw you have an ice barrel. Tell me about that and how much has that uh, helped your recovery? You know, I really love ice barrel. You know, I, I usually, when I run outside, I run close to the beach. I run here in California, the water froze, it very freeze, it likes very yeah. cold. So we jump in the water. But usually when I'm training in the gym or, or I run around the house, I come on back, you know, I like to bury because, you know, look like I, I rest three days, really yeah. recovery. You know, it's really hard to go inside, it went very cold because you know, my team put a lot of ice, but, but it's nice because I didn't feel any pain, you know, I feel recovery for be better for the next day. It's the best gift, you know, I, I love it. I love it, and and I, I I do this, you know, this fight a week. I I always do ice bath. It's the best. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, just, you know, again, I'm not a doctor, but I will say that I've been doing the ice uh, showers for a little while now. Uh, they're great. Uh, go go look it up. There's a lot of benefits, not just for athletes like Chris, but it boosts your immune system. It, it decreases stress. Uh, if you do a quick Google search, you'll see the benefits. But Chris actually has a barrel, which you can go into, which is why I'm jealous because I have to do it. I turn the, the shower knob and, and go in for three minutes and that's not very fun. It would be better to go in a barrel. But uh, there you go. So friends then do uh, like, uh, OK. If they want to, they put one go in the yeah. end of the month or maybe two months, depending yeah. how long. And they yeah. say, okay, every morning it's cold water. Two, yeah. you get your go. And yeah. but you know, have a lot of benefits for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we got it. We can't end the show without doing our Portuguese saying of the week. Summer's coming to a close. I went swimming twice this weekend. I'm lucky I have family that that owns a pool, so I was able to cool down. But how do you say "let's go swimming" in Portuguese? Vamos. Vamos. 
nadar. Vamos nadar. Yes. Vamos there we go. Nadar. There we yeah, go. I'm talking about water. Talking about, I know I love swimming too. So yeah. this week I'm going to start back to swimming. Yeah. Anyway. I, I, I love going swimming. It's uh, my kids love it too. It's it, it's great. Can't say enough good things. Okay, before we get out of here, uh, the premium service, chriscyborg.com. Less than a cup of coffee, you can sign up, get exclusive content. You have the uh, you know obviously the technique drills. You have the Q and A's every month. Uh, yes. What what else can you tell us about anything coming up on the uh, premium service, Chris? You know we we be filming and on next uh, next uh, techniques and it's very excited and you guys are gonna enjoy and I have a fun you know be with my fans. It's a like premium service. It's open for be close to our fans, they really want to know a little bit about me more and I, I'm there for no answer and support them. And we share, you know, we share goals, we share what's the next for us, you know. It's very nice. It's like family. You know, it's be part of the family. And you're going to yeah. know more and this is cool. Some before I tell everybody else, I tell them in the group. And yeah. they're very good because they keep, can keep secret. Yes, that's important. Uh, again, that's chriscyborg.com. You can use Bitcoin, less than a cup of coffee, best deal in town. Uh, for myself, for Chris, thank you so much for watching. One more reminder, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. We do the show every single week. It's called The Catch-Up. Uh, for myself, for Chris Cyborg, hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and we'll talk to you guys soon.